Hello everyone and welcome to some more F123 League Racing content. Today we're here for World Online Racing, the Season 2 Finale, Round 11 at the Chinese Grand Prix, looking to close out the season on a high. If you haven't seen the last race guys, Round 10 at Austria, go check it out, link in the top right, spoiler warning ahead, so go watch it if you haven't seen it. But let's talk about it and let's talk about this weekend's race and what's at stake. So. Heading into this one, we have scored points in four of the last six races. We're actually starting to really hit some form and find some decent consistency. Ever since we switched to some lower downforce, lower wing setups for the race, we seem to be more competitive and a lot more stronger. We're going to try and hopefully close out the season on a high here today around Shanghai. A track that I've got mixed feelings. Wow. Either way. Joris Krozen setting a new benchmark, an absolutely insane time to start off with a banker lap. And we're going to try and get somewhere near that on our first attempt. Joris Krozen 29.8 on a banker. That's tough. Now, up until this point, I was unable to set a lap underneath a 1 minute 30. Every single lap, I've done multiple 1 minute 30.00 whatever. I just could not get into the 129. So that was going to be my target heading into this session as we finish the lap. Uh, a bit cautious there. Really good lap though. I'll take that as a personal best banker. And to be fair, not bad at all. A 0.1 banker is a very good start. It gives us two more runs to try and beat that lap and go even quicker. Backhand slipped the way there. As you can see though, second run isn't exactly going to plan. We're having a bit of a scruffy lap as Yoris sets a 0.5 which is ridiculous pace you know for tier 2 like literally insane lap time it's a little bit of time there now you can see I'm just kind of letting myself know there's a bit of time to find through the exit of the banker for the final run if we were to need it it depends if we improve or not as we get a bit crossed up through the hairpin lose a bit more time again we pull it back on the exit a little bit, but not really a, a huge amount. The big bulk of the time, though, is here. That's how much time there is in the last corner alone. So at the final corner, there's over a tenth of a second, which would put us into the 29s. So here we go then, on to the final run, onto the final attempt. Let's see if we can improve a minute on the clock. We're going to be one of the first cars to start the lap, so we're going to be you know, getting our lap out of the way nice and early. So here we go then. Starting off with turn one, which feeds into turn two. Turn one is pretty easy. Turn two is when the apex tightens up. So right about now, this is turn two. And then turn three, important here to keep minimum speed high and get the power down and get a good exit, which we do manage to achieve. My first sectors weren't particularly great in this session. I was able to do fives in practice, but I just couldn't get anywhere under a six in this one. However, we now turn five and get a really nice run on the exit. So we're now 300s up. Flat out through turn seven into eight. Important to stay tight and carry speed to then open the left of nine. And then of course that feeds into turn 10. Very tricky traction zone here. Don't run too far over the curve. Otherwise the car will bottom out and lose time. We go purple apparently in middle split as we head through the left right chicane. We know there's a bit of time to find here. So get the car down to the curb and to the apex as soon as possible to gain time. And we are currently a tenth and a half up and we know there's another tenth at least in the final corner. So this could be decent as the checkered flag drops. 100 meter ball is gonna be your friend as you drop to third. We get the apex, but we don't really carry a lot of speed on the corner rotation and the exit isn't great either. So we lose half a tenth. Here's the final corner then we throw it in and we do gain time. Let's go, I'll take that. Not ideal, but I'll take it. I ain't done a point. I've not done a 29 yet, so I'll take it. The final corner wasn't as good as the second run when I gained that full tenth in a bit, and we lost a bit of time through the hairpin. So overall, we finished 14th, and if you exclude Joris Krozen, who set an insane pole lap, from second place to where we are, there's literally two tenths. So had we done a better job in the final corner and the hairpin, I reckon we could have got P7 behind our teammate quite possibly i think pace wise 
that lap was there. I mean, a full tenth wasn't that much to find, but those are the margins around here, and it's a very tough track to get right. There's a lot of room for error, so you have to be very precise, and you can see there, even if you're on a good lap, the final two corners can absolutely wreck your lap or make it if it's, you know, the other extreme. Either way, qualifying done. Let's get into the race, and let's try and end the season on a high. Decent qualifying, PB, 29.9, but now let's go for the main event. How do I start? Uh... Oh. Oh. The penalty's off. Oh, no, they are. I second. He jumped he, he jump jump the start. start. Five second pen for jumping the start. No, he got he got it for a collision. Oh, no, he jumped the start. Uh, oh, no, just guys, thank you. He should have a drive through. Now. Interestingly, Andre Molnar jumped the start, you watch it back, but he got a five second pen rather than a drive through, which is what you usually get when you would jump the start. I run back to the side on softs on mediums. Now you can see we're currently mixing up with pretty much everyone on different compounds as we go around the outside of Tom Roberts through the outside of six and seven, trying to make a move here. Multiple two wide scenarios. Oh, rip. That's gonna shit at me. Now, I thought there was, and there was actually some kind of contact through the double left hander, which means Hexafox is ghost, so we've got chaos. Oh my god, I can't see a fucking thing. I can't see a fucking thing. I've got no traction. Yeah. Yeah, only half run on giant. Oh. Now the rule book states you cannot overtake a ghost car, so you have to hold position, which kind of created that chaos as Bogdan tries to overtake us at the hairpin here. What's in the pits? Uh oh. Oh, we locked on. Oh. I got the white arrow. Oh man. no, okay, that's contact between Jay's T. Sorry, Bogdan. Okay, that's fine. Arrow went white on my screen. They're on sauce, mate. Take a bit more speed. Now, me and Bogdan locked on through the final corner. I thought I was ahead. The arrow went white briefly, so I took the line as normal, but he was still there with his front wing. Either way, after that entire first lap and all that chaos, we are exactly where we started in 14th place in this race. Avril Quintino is so slow on the straight. That's outrageous. Yeah, so is your name. And I'm not even the battery. <laughs> now, like lefted, my teammate Connor and Leroy, we've gone for low drag. You can see we're gained on the straight. Now, we've gone around the outside. I'll overtake him next lap if that happens again. Of Hexafox in the Ferrari, and we move into 13th place. I'm skateboarding. Yep. Huh. All three of us did. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that. <laughs> On to lap three then. DRS enabled as we got a warning for skateboarding, and we're now behind Molnar, who of course jumped the race start. That's why I had no traction compared to these guys, because they all have so much wing. Now, at the moment, even though we're also running less wing, we seem to be pretty quick and we've got a run on Molnar here, so I'm going to try and go for it and get aggressive into five. Kevin's oh rejoined. God, Ch uh, in. Oh man, fucking locked on again. And again, they're just locking up. Not ideal, but we're going to go around the outside, like on lap one with Tom Roberts. This time though, we get the space to move. Uh, give me that. Give me that. And we get into 12th place and gain two places in half a lap. Uh, Antoine, do you have Bob Dan's stream up? Uh, what's his name? Bondra, I think. Maybe that's a draw. Bondra X, I think. Got it. He's on 58. What tire compounds on the cars ahead? There's like uh, two medium, three medium runners, and then two medium run. ones. Okay. Yeah, you got three mediums. Also. How many softs? One. Okay. One. I'm I've been loving the, the the latest races. I've been running the low wing. I've been cooking, man. The low wing is the way to go. It's better for a race. Now lap eight, pretty much not a lot happened in the first stint. Everyone was staying in the train and essentially behaving, uh, trying to manage battery, which is hard to charge here if you're not in the train. So. Being in the train gives you a chance to get that battery back on target. Oh, Connor. <laughs> Connor, they're having a moment you saw through the double left on the exit. 
not having a very good time here. What are these guys doing? But now lap 12, approaching the pit window, things started to open up. And here we go. This is McLaren, Shooter. Loser, yeah. Yernish has lost a few positions. Train is okay then. Yeah, it's just about. I don't know what happened to Yernish though. Oh, he got damage. So we're going to have to move because Yone has damage and we want to stay in the train. You can see he actually goes off track, which makes things very easy for us. And that promotes us into P11. So we're only a place shy from point. So after that crazy first lap, starting 14th down to like 16th, 17th, we're now 11th. And we're looking very healthy at this stage with lots of battery in the charge. Me. Let's use a bit down the straight. Now we're going to burn some batteries here and use the straight line speed to stay where we are again this race is going to start to really open up now it's been a pretty passive first stint besides you know the, the good moves from me uh, gaining on hexafox and molnar we're now looking to just try and make the right decision heading into the pit phase and see what strategies everyone goes for there we go. and on cue mark schluter pits and also leo lund who started on softs and done 12 laps Oh, Gabri, you got to use battery, fella. 17, that's really early. Mm, yeah. Strong again. And Valentina Labella, one of the first hard tire runners to make the decision to pit, which could affect him later on. He might have very high tire wear in the second half of the race in the closing lap. So that could be key on strategy. Let's say so you've only got three people behind Tom, so like, if you want to overcut, you won't lose, obviously, a lot of places. My uh, front left is on 49 right now. Did he stay in DRS? Oh, no. He's he did. Dead. Yours? He did not. He's not. He's How did he not get it? Oh, mate. I did this stuff. I did the opposite yeah. to him. Yeah. Oh, top two are fighting. A lot. Should gain a bit. Oh, yeah, they've both got down to as well. Okay, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap. Box this lap. That was a toss in, man. We can both get him in, Leroy, if we're close enough. So Connor Pitt, he's going to go a bit aggressive. Uh, Gabriel Contino is running very, very high wing, so he's super quick in the corners, but very slow on the straight. Leroy and myself both pushing now because we have to make a move at this stage and try to use the tyres and also the battery we have, as we both are doing pretty well for charge. So you're going to see... Oh, my God. Okay, we can take you this lap. Exactly what I mean about Gabriel's wing. As we head down the back straight, he has... I went past him, just got to the rest of the Nothing in the tank, and we clear him with ease. We're going to slide him behind Leroy, and we're now going to box and uh, go for mediums. Oh, I'm not going to say I'll... I'm going to go if you want to... And you can see Leroy making a late call to stay out, so we're going to box and commit to our call and strategy. We're going to switch to mediums and join other cars in the pits and hopefully we can make this work and have a decent second stint. I was comfortable but I had to take it. And yeah, we don't lose too much time, don't get too greedy on tyres. He already has the key. I need to be in DRS man. <clears throat> I don't think I am. That was our last stop, no more scheduled pit stops, let's go. Fine time because of Kai's tyres. Uh, Antoine, can I get battery yeah. on Bogdan? 55. So Bogdan has undercut us. He pit, of course, a lap before. We're now behind Kai Pearson. Uh, this is not ideal. Who I believe boxed at the end of lap one, so he's on very old tyres and is struggling for grip. But the key thing now, we have to get within the RS range and again get back in the train. You see my teammate Connor. P11 there, just ahead of Bogdan, who's sitting in his DRS, which is really inconvenient as the train is kind of spread out ahead of us on the back straight. Okay, Jan and um, Gabriel are themselves. Yeah. I've got mediums. So there's the pace update. Pretty much the two cars ahead of me, Bogdan and Connor, pushing pretty hard as Jan Halliday rejoins on softs. We'll be able to stick them. Who in front of me has older tyres than me? Uh, Leo and Valentino. That's it? Yeah, that's it. 
He should have stayed out longer. And and Mark as well. Yes, he has no battery. So does Jan so. What does he have? None. Okay. Valentino as well. Then dropped. I was gonna keep up there. Get back in, Tom. Valentina's in the train. Got so, Halliday is setting the pace. We set a personal best. We're out of battery now because we had to burn it to try and stay closed, not having the RS. But the train is now forming. Well, hell yeah. And the pace is starting to slow. It's aggressive. And we're all going to bunch up. And it will be a train again. I wasn't going to fly him too hard anyway. You can bring us off to the train. Why oh, is he. Come on, man. Just trying to race while his tires are fresher. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm flashing. So I'm on turn. I'm with the RS still, but. I'm on turn. I'm just. We'll, we'll get there. We'll catch up. Yeah, these guys will play. It's for a championship, for fuck's sake. Yeah, exactly. Are they ever going to blow up? It's today. Oh, Mark Schluter is murdering people. Yeah, yeah well, he's good mates with Jay. Yeah, but he's not murdering the right people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just put, trying to back up so it's a 1v1. Nah, he's, well, P, I tell you, he's P7 at the minute. Yeah. And about to be P, P9. Oh my god, you can't do that, man! What the f- There's gonna be a massive break check at one point on this champion. Yeah, but isn't Jay League on the championship? Mm. Yeah, he just- well, whoever went beats who? So, yeah, it's gone all. So, after expletives and a bit of frosty action here and there, huh? Connor, Mark battling away, you can oh, see now so we're all kind of, you know, settled in this train yeah. and Gabriel Contrinos are going for the move here, which caught him by surprise. So, I go for a defensive lunge on Mark. Oh, that's passion, Tom. Now, I didn't want to pass him because I wanted to charge battery. I was just trying to defend him from Gabriel, but I ended up actually trying to put a move on him, which... I didn't want to go for that on Mark, but I had to do it to defend myself and Gabriel. Yeah, it's probably best you can take him. What is he doing? Which, it almost worked out, and we get another chance now through turn two, as uh, Schlut seems to be a bit slow, and this time, we're going to try and take it as we go around the outside of turn three. Oh, passion, Tom. Thank you for the rain, Mitchie. However, Schluter not giving up. Is he going to re-challenge into five? I feel like I'm driving LMP2 at Daytona again. The flight's not just passing off the mark there from turn two, corner. but I think it was okay. Slight bit of contact, I was trying to hold it in, but I thought it was the mark. And what is that? Is Mark on older tyres? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that'll explain yeah. it. Three that folded than yours. Oh, come up. Careful, mate. That, that corner's not been my friend. <laughs> Back up so much. Yeah, just keep your wing. You deserve it. I'm just trying to get battery back. Uh, let's go. There was sure it's there. I'm gonna lift a bit early here, Tom. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, a bit I'm of gap. My God. Oh, oh shit, I'm done. Okay, yeah, mate, we I might need to look then. at a new race strategy after that. You got, you got damage? For you, so go I don't have team. damage, I'd say. I don't have damage, I'm fucked, so I'm gonna have to go. Oh, that's a shame. I knew there'd be a break Tom, I, I, I hit the back of Bog down. No, you warned me, it's my bad. I thought I did enough to scrub it, but, um, yeah. We'll push, see if we can get anything out of this at the end. I mean, I'm gonna rejoin it in 13th as it is, so if there's anything else, I can still maybe get something out of this. Unfortunately, that would be the end of our race as we get wing damage from a silly incident. Should have been points today. Again, we were in a really good position to get points. Unfortunately, no death in the last lap. That's not a title, Jay, mate. Well done. Well driven. Well, better crash start. Good race, I enjoyed it. Pace was really good. Yellow flag. And with that, the season has come to a close and we move on to season three. 
a bit of a shame to end the final race with a non-points finish, but it was looking pretty decent for another one. We was, you know, comfortable in P9 on fresher tires and, you know, saving a bit of battery and looking pretty decent overall and could have possibly been P8, P7, who knows? Either way, there's your final finishing order, P11, inaccurate to the DNF, so not really much to talk about there. In the Drivers' Championship, though, our teammate Connor finishes P5, JST's the champion, and we finish in P15 in the end, so not too bad if you take the reserves out of it we're solid mid table of the full-time drivers so um a decent season overall i'd say and decent pace we struggled a bit in the initial first four races we did score a point in monaco which that was the big one monaco was the one where i had pace for pole and if not race win for podium but you know we had a scruffy qualifying and the rest is history um had we got you know that points haul there we could have finished in the top 10 quite easily but Either way, I'm not mad about it because if you take the top four races, the first four races out of it, which is, you know, until I discovered this bit of a setup change, which is running the lower wing in race, the final five races, six races, we scored points in four of them. So very good form, very good consistency and ending the season on a high. So I'll take that. And, you know, a best result of P5 in Kota as well after qualifying P3. So we'll take it and a few positives. We go to season three next year, moving teams to Mercedes in the constructors though. You can see we finish in P5 and mid table, Connor scoring the bulk of the points in the first three races pretty much. And uh, McLaren are your champions. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check all the links guys down below to my link tree, my Twitch. All that stuff is linked down below. We race every Monday night, including tonight. And of course, create the series every Saturday night. So tune in for those races. Follow me over there. And highlights, of course, on YouTube as always. A big shout out to the channel members for supporting all the content that I make. I very much appreciate it. And yeah, as always, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, guys, cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. And let's goodbye from me.